seven days into the hunger strike by Palestinian prisoners, chanting supporters march toward the Israeli jail in Nablus. Determined to stop them reaching what is the largest prison on the West Bank, Israeli troops at first lobbed tear gas canisters into the crowds. When that failed, they decided to open fire on the demonstrators, most of whom were university students or relatives of the estimated 2,000 hunger striking prisoners. One Palestinian protester was shot dead, dozens were wounded. In Gaza, Palestinian children of the prisoners protested before Israel's foreign minister arrived for talks with Yasser Arafat. The Israelis have released 4,000 Palestinian prisoners. They still hold another 5,000, some of whom are convicted of killing Jews and are unlikely to be freed under the Israeli PLO peace accord. Arafat brought up the Palestinian prisoner issue during his talks with Shimon Peres, which centered on Israeli troop redeployment in the West Bank. They reported narrowing gaps in their differences over the scope of Israeli withdrawal from Palestinian population centers. Peres said Israel wants to release more prisoners, but wouldn't say how many or when. Both agreed there's a chance the July 1st target date for an accord could be met. By the end of this week, on Thursday probably, there will be the meeting of our ministerial committee.